This is week 12 and we'll turn our attention to the northwest coast. Northwest coast is kind of a thin strip of land going along the westernmost mountains of, of uh, North America. Those mountains are being bumped up because North America is moving to the west a few millimeters every year and uh, it's kind of like the front end of the boat is getting smashed against the Pacific Plate and is bumping up these mountains. And uh, it produces a spectacular terrain and also the Northwest Coast produced a spectacular culture. The uh, culture of the Kwakiutl and the Tsimshin and, and all of those uh, people that you probably are familiar with as totem pole builders. distinction between California and the no Northwest Coast has to do with what kind of materials are available to make houses out of and what kind of houses are needed to uh, protect people from the uh, uh, elements in California. It gets warm and uh, there are, are uh, as you go further south, no trees available to make planks out of and so they built uh, uh, pit houses, pit houses sunk down in the ground and covered up with sod, gives them good insulation from the heat of summer and the cold of winter. But as you move further north, the trees get more and more uh, numerous and uh, formidable, and so by the time you get to Northern California on up to Alaska, there are great trees to make planks out of, and so people in this uh, cultural area made plank houses with great pictures on the front of them. A house is like a, a living being. It's not just a, you know, a uh, construction that helps uh, keep you warm. It's, it's a living being that has a face. I tried to give you a little bit on the Northwest Coast art, which will uh, more than anything else help key you into the idea that Northwest Coast culture is is a very complex, accomplished culture and has its uh, own ideas about how to do things. Uh, ask yourself uh, what, what you think your appreciation of the Northwest Coast art is. The Northwest Coast is all chopped up by uh, mountains and water uh, bodies of water and everything, where you find a situation like that, you tend to find uh, a lot of people with very different languages preserved from a long time ago. And this is certainly the case on the Northwest Coast. Uh, some languages that we've run into before, uh, like Athabascans and Algonquians, appear on the Northwest Coast, and then there or bushel baskets of languages that, that you will have never heard of before. Fortunately, you don't have to learn all these languages for this course. I just want you to become familiar with the with, uh, three groups, the Yurok, who live in Northern California, to give you a little bit of, of the Southern flavor, the Kwakiutl, who live on the coast of British Columbia, and then the Haida, who live on, an, on Queen Charlotte Island, uh, quite far north up toward toward Alaska and uh, uh, give you more of an idea of what a, a maritime um, sea, sea mammal hunting uh, culture is like. So, enjoy your perusal of this spectacular culture.